for today's challenge, we are going to be in Bristol. Yes, Bristol, United Kingdom, everybody. So excited to be over the United Kingdom doing challenges. But this is no an ordinary challenge. Not only is this a crazy breakfast challenge, which has basically been undefeated for years, everybody. There has been hundreds, if not thousands of attempts uh, and only one winner, so it's practically undefeated. I'm also going to be joined and blessed by my good friend, Miss Leah Shutkiever, the Shuts. She is a very incredible eater, and uh, this is a very large breakfast. So this is at Harry's, Cafe at Fowler's, which is actually like a motorcycle shop, like a bike shop, like a bike showroom, which is an crazy, crazy place to have a cafe. It is super cool. Um, the venue is so awesome. So like, this is an amazing place. And I've heard their food is just fantastic, real local focus. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. So for this full English breakfast challenge, everybody, um, I mean, we have bacon, we have sausage, we have black pudding, we have fried bread. This will be my first time having fried bread. We have buttered toast or buttered bread. Um, we have fried eggs. There's just so much on this. It's gonna be crazy. It is about an eight pound challenge. That is eight pounds legit. They actually do weigh it out, which I really appreciate. Standardized, I always appreciate the honesty in that. And let's just say everybody, things might have went a little crazier than that. We might have went above and beyond. Somebody might have even tried to eat two of these breakfasts, totaling 16 pounds of food, which if somebody did try to eat 16 pounds of food, that would make it the biggest by weight food challenge they have ever, 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 ever attempted with the exception of ice cream. Guys, I can't confirm or deny whether something happened, so you're gonna have to tune on in and see, but this is either gonna be a amazing, crazy challenge because we have Leah, this is a massive breakfast, which has again been basically undefeated, and or this is gonna be literally probably the craziest, most insane thing you've ever seen, seeing somebody literally probably die. So with that, let's tune on in, let's have some fun, let's eat some food, and let's go. Hi everyone, so here we are with the challenge, of course, again, honored to be here with Miss Leah herself. So here we have the Harry's Breakfast Challenge. So much of everything. So we have 12 pieces of bread total, four buttered toast, four fried bread, four toast itself. We have six black pudding, six fried eggs, six sausages, six hash browns, six rashers or pieces of bacon a large order of chips, and then what you guys cannot see underneath this, or you probably saw in the intro, literally the whole tray is full of tomatoes, like stewed canned tomatoes, and beans. So this is massive. I did weigh them out. I didn't tell her how much this weighed. She didn't want me to tell her, so I'm gonna put that on screen oh, no. right now, how <laughs> much right, this how much weighs. Uh, but that's pretty much that. I'm super excited. They gave me a mustard here to try, this Coleman's mustard. Apparently this is like the horseradish or wasabi of mustards. I love a strong tasting mustard, said I have to try this, and some people said don't even try it because it's going to kill you. We'll find out. Of course, I also have some ketchup, all that good stuff. And additionally, because I'm having an English breakfast, I do also have a cup of English tea. English breakfast tea, guys. My, like, think about that. English breakfast tea, English breakfast, it was meant to be. So at that, I'm going to like okay. Tastes like English breakfast tea. So there, guys, my actual first tea also in England. Um, that's about that. Leah, ready to get rocking? I am ready to eat. Yeah. I'm so ready. So ready. Well, with that, let's get started here just momentarily. Leah, you ready? Ready. All right. So how about we get a rock in and roll and we'll say the count of three, two, one. Let us go. Grab this egg. I do love a fried egg. Please go with some sandwiches. Mm -hmm. That probably goes well. That was good, bat. Sausage. We have mushrooms here too. I think I forgot to mention mushrooms. They are bacon cooked mushrooms. This is the buttered bread. This is the toast. I'll do a bit of an egg sandwich. And mushrooms. And everything. See what that's all about. <laughs> mm. Runny yolk. 
Hey everyone, welcome to this video and welcome to what may be the craziest challenge slash challenges I have ever attempted. This is absolutely insane. This is one you're definitely not going to want to miss. So make sure you watch well into the end. Fried bread. I remember I had it before, but it's very crispy. Everybody's had some very mixed things to say about the fried bread. If you've ever had it before, let me know down below. It's pretty sharp, I would say. Sharp? Sharp. Yeah. Not sharp in flavor, sharp in texture. We've already explained the challenge in detail. We've explained the rules. We've told you lots about it and there's lots of natural commentary about the tastes and flavors to come. So let's pretty much stick to the interesting facts. Traditionally, do people in an English breakfast mix up everything? Um. I don't really know, that's the British people. Yeah, mix it up. Yeah, mix it up. Mm. Like we're doing? Yeah, perfect. Gotta do it the right way. First off, pretty much undefeated challenge. Harry's super amazing spot. The staff were absolutely outstanding. The UK was amazing. Bristol was a super cool area. And they really went for a quality food item here. If you're ever in the area, definitely stop on by Harry's here. And well, let's just say this challenge is not easy for anybody. This is definitely an absolutely huge one, which makes sense why it's basically been undefeated for so many years. I love a runny yolk though. I've got to get through this black pudding because it's not my favorite thing in the world, so. It's never nice to leave it till last. I actually did pretty good. I've had, I've had a couple times now. The sum and sum with black pudding, it, it can go so wrong. I need you to do me a favor right now. If you like this video so far or think you're gonna like it, please hit the like button. I'm trying to be strategic. I'm not normally very strategic with these things. Do the things you like least first. Mm -hmm. Give me a comment down below, maybe saying Merry Christmas or just letting me know what you're doing with your day. And I'll also let you know what I'm doing with my day. One thing is for sure, guys. This is not calorie free. Leah's like, well, duh. <laughs> I wish it was. Imagine life if food has no calories. Well. Oh man. And if you like this video, definitely share it as well. Bread with butter just hits a certain spot. And at that, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, let's go. Choice black pudding. They locally source all of their ingredients here and I think it really does make a difference, especially with a breakfast challenge like this. Mixing everything up, pretty good. We need some black pudding. But I will say, there is no shortage of food here. Mm -mm. Getting into this, you realize how much there really is. Joel was like, this is easy didn't tell me what the weight of it was. Picture doesn't do this justice, I'll put it that way. Wow. I have this mustard to try. <laughs> I'm like stepping back. <laughs> it actually burns like wasabi and horseradish. Mm -hmm. Is there horseradish in it? So. No, that's crazy. I've never had a stronger mustard in my life. It's good. So try fried bread too. Oh wow. He doesn't know what to think I'm about not that. used to that. I'll put it that way. Mm -hmm. But I'm used to ketchup. 
Yeah, the fried bread is an acquired taste. <laughs> Apparently that's very traditional. <laughs> the fried bread the, the fried bread is beyond an acquired taste. I think that you really do have to be properly old school or probably nuts to like really love it. I do prefer like buttered bread or mm. buttered toast, a hundred percent. Me too. If you've ever had it, let me know your preference down below. Mm -hmm. I will say it's an acquired taste. But then Apparently these fries or chips is a new addition to an English breakfast and it's not really traditional. Mm -hmm. Definitely enjoy everything so far. Big variety of flavors. How you doing, Miss Leah? I'll be honest, this is not easy. It's a lot of food. It's a lot of food. Do not underestimate, this is an awful lot of food. No, like I said, it was, I was anticipating it'd be one size, a little bigger. And at the moment, I don't know how I'm gonna get through all this bread. Like 12 slices of bread all together, it's just unbelievable. I tell you how. I believe in you. Thank you. Ain't no losers here today. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Leo is very competitive. Mm hmm. So she won't lose. <laughs> Nice thing with bread, not reality. It's very light, like weighing. It doesn't weigh a lot. Are you joking? It literally expands. Yeah. Like mushrooms. Mushrooms they don't expand; they shrink. Comment down below if you know that I'm telling the truth. Mushrooms expand. What? They absorb liquid. Well, I'm learning new science from this side of the world, apparently. Yeah, and they expand inside of you as well. Mark my words, everyone. I will let the comment section decide. Yeah, <laughs> expert, mushroom experts below. Ooh. Yeah, that fried bread, guys, that is, uh, that is rich. Great taste challenge, I love everything. Like, you can really, and the breads and everything, you can tell. It's very, very high quality. It's just that fried bread is an acquired taste. Try this big glob of mustard. I do like it. And all those beans as well. Mm. You've gone through a lot of The beans are really good though. I've really enjoyed it, uh, mixing it in with everything. I'm oh, sorry, yeah. Leah. I will say though, so that mustard, it is quite sharp. I understand how the average individual would get potential discomfort from eating that. It was so strong, but you're also talking to a man who has a jar of um, nasal napalm, the world's hottest horseradish, and eats it out of the jar. So, I'm not normal. And everybody's like, well, duh. Oh, yeah, well, duh. desperate making sandwiches. I was doing that from the start. Ain't no desperation. It's no, strategy. it's my, oh yes, strategy. Strat I'm strategizing because I'm panicking. And the buttered bread. I'm sorry guys, but the butter they have here is really good and with this bread. Yeah, you can hashtag butter bangs. Butter bangs! 
that will mean nothing to like anyone in America. People just be like, what? What does that mean? Butter bench. These British people are so weird. Is that like a slur? A slang. Bangs just means that it's really good. No, it's bangs okay. is good. Fried bread and mustard. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys. Oh my gosh. Let's see if I get up. Here we go. There we go. Let's get a nice glob of that. Mm. I'm gonna say that was that was a great way to eat it. Fried bread or fried bread and mustard. This is butter bread, though. Do we have any offended British people <laughs> in the comments right now? You get somebody that'll be like, "That's terrible British etiquette. You should never do that." Listen, I'm sorry. But that tastes so good. If you haven't, tr unless they've tried it, they can't knock it. Oh, yeah, for sure. So if you tried it, you can knock it. If you haven't, you gotta give it a shot. We'll have to do like a, a proper tour, I think. Let me know down below if you think we should do a tour together. Hashtag tour. There's no innovation or... Hashtag marketing. <laughs> There's something about my brain where I don't want to make it to the full hour. I feel like that's not, not an achievement. It's you so know. bad. You're gonna beat the old record. Just keep up. Here you go. Yeah. And then Joel at the end is going to tell me how much this weighs when we finish. I will. <sighs> Sips tea. Takes oh, breath. Yeah, let's give it up for Leah, guys. Woo, let's go, Leah! <laughs> finishing there um, about 22 I think 33 was the official time guys so we did get a new record shout out to redeem again the only one who actually beat this um, like for years years and years and years over 100 attempts one winner guys that's not a good odds that being said these are about to drastically increase today because Leah is about to finish up smashing this challenge look at that look at you see I told you I told her, like what two minutes ago she was almost done she's done. almost Hi. done so with that everybody Excuse me. That was delicious. What's going on in is Leah continues to crush this. She's going to be done in literally just a minute. And then I'll talk all about the food. But in the meantime, Coleman's mustard. I approve. This is 100 grams. I can take one of these on a freaking plane in my carry-on, baby. I know what's coming back to me to Canada. Mustard. <laughs> Along other things. There are so many cool things in the UK here that I can't get in North America. The list goes on. <laughs> And fun fact, the Sprite, this is one of the like the most minute but interesting differences. The Sprite here in the UK has probably 30 times the citrus or lime than we do in North America. Now you know. Just at the back, it says on off, yeah. and you'll need to press it twice. Okay, so that's one, one more. On off or start? Uh, the same button again. Uh, again. Start, I got you. Perfect, thank you. Come on, you got this. I'm so full. I did the bell. I'm so full. 
Yeah, it's it's fine undoing the trousers. It's just like doing them back up again. That's the problem. I was actually at a place uh, not long ago. I could I I I had to undo them and I could not button them up. I literally left with my pants unbuttoned. No shame. Mm. What is that for? Hmm? They are coming at me with a nether challenge? I think that's a challenge. Is that what that is? That's just part one. That's part one? Dear God, what do, uh... I figured you still got some mustard left, so... Oh my lord. Uh, you might want a bit more fried bread. Uh, apparently we have another challenge here, guys. Not wow. sure I'm going to... I don't even know if I could eat that if I wanted to. Well, the hospitality here is bar none. Come on. You guys want me to try? Yeah, go on, do it. Um, Here's me. <laughs> I don't know about Struggling that. With one. Well, there's a whole challenge here. I tell you what I will do. This was it was really really delicious. I'll at least take a bite of it. My my battery is going to die, but I don't even know if I could do it. That's a lot of food, guys. I'll tell Leah how much it weighs now as soon as she's done. Mm -hmm. Huge. So, for, oh, those no. who, for those who skipped ahead, I didn't even eat the challenge. Surprise! Uh, no, guys, seriously. Hey, huge thanks to everybody here at Harry's. Staff, it's super awesome. What a cool place. Sorry, you didn't even get the napkin. Thank you very much. I'm so sorry. You were handed to me, and then there's more food coming my way. I got distracted. Uh, but yeah, huge thanks to everybody here, guys. Really cool place. It's really upstairs of a bike like motorcycle showroom. Very cool showroom, though. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. It showroom. smells like new motor cycles and cars near which is actually cool you know that new car smell yeah i like, like i like it it's amazing it's unmatched anyway lee what'd you think of the challenge it was big um it was a lot of food there was a lot of bread i will say though it's a lot of bread it's a lot of bread it was very good though i really yeah. enjoyed it quality uh, wise it was it was a high quality bar none challenge it's what we live for is like venues that really put a lot of love and effort into the things they produce and how this, this is definitely one so one. yeah i don't know what i'm gonna do with this here guys maybe i'll have a bite here in a sec we'll see at least you if battery. he finishes this I <laughs> i'm gonna feel terrible well what i will say is this weighed eight pounds you're joking wait eight pounds okay so this is my ceiling this is like the my my max, well, what I thought was my max. So this so. would be 16 pounds if I was somehow able to eat this. I don't know if I can do that. That's nuts. Anyway, guys, what I will say is, like I said, huge thanks to all the staff here. The food is really good. For that, we both beat the old record. We both will get our picture on the wall of fame. We get the meal for free, the 30, 35 pound meal. And uh, I got no complaints. Come on by. This is <laughs> awesome. I mean, just come for a casual breakfast. Yeah. You could try the challenge. I'm not recommending it. If you are though, you need to call in advance. You got to schedule it, and I think they may be fast beforehand. Yeah, just don't eat this. Don't. Like, <laughs> come with your whole family and like Share it. order a big, normal size breakfast. It's time yeah. is six. Enjoy. Just yeah, enjoy. this is big breakfast. But yeah, guys, huge thanks to everybody here. Delicious. Leah, any other words? Um, it's been a pleasure. It has been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. I'm good with that. Those are good words. Yeah. Cool. Well, hey guys, of course, till next time, say happy, a lot of course, till next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. Like the video. Yeah, like the video, comment, subscribe. There you go, those are important kudos, stuff. Kudos, subscribe to Joel's kudos channel. Kudos to Leah. Thank you guys. Subscribe to her as well. And uh, that's about that. I'm going to see what I'm going to do with this breakfast. If I go for this, I may die. So if this video is a lot longer, you know what happened. <laughs> if not, we just had additional snacks. Yeah. We... Pardon me? Yeah, sign my, they're going to make me sign my life away. So let me figure this out. Until next time, everybody. Have a lovely day. Tune in tomorrow for episode two, Death is Imminent. All right, everybody. So I am saying I will try to eat some of this. By no means do I actually think I will complete this. Um, I really don't, to be honest. Anyway, guys, it was very delicious. Let's see how much this I can get through, at least a little bit. This is definitely one of those things which was better in theory than in practice. Do your followers know why you do this?
No. Oh, okay. Neither do I. You'll have to. <laughs> this is suffering for your craft. Like, please, God, save Joel. Yes. Come on, Joel. You can do this. If you're watching this the day of release, be sure to check out part two tomorrow. If not, you'll find part two linked down below. But at that, everybody, again, if you're watching a time of release, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. I wish eternal blessings upon you and your families. I wish you health, prosperity, happiness to your own definition. I truly appreciate you all being in my life. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you for following. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for sharing with your friends. Thank you for purchasing merch at joeleats.com. Thank you for coming out to my events and all the amazing things you guys send me. The way you have blessed me, I cannot put it properly into words. So like I said, thank you so much. This is for you. I appreciate you.